Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Amori, an RPG Maker horror game that features a surreal and colorful style that's also probably most famous for its very long development time. Don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. No matter what happens. Promise me that we'll always be there for each other. Promise me. Welcome to White Space. I was gonna say, it was, it was kind of dark. This is more like White Space. You've been living here for as long as you can remember. Okay. We're in white space. Sweet. Everything's, uh... Pretty white. Your sketchbook. Take a look inside? Sure. Okay. Interesting. Cats. Cats, bathtubs, and blood. Cats, bathtubs, blood, and snakes. Average school drawing. More cats and light bulbs. Meat. My soul. Okay. A tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Hmm. Meow. Waiting for something to happen. You boot up your laptop. What'd you like to do? Open your journal. Today I spent time in white space, everything was okay. Today I spent time in white space, everything was okay. Today I spent time in white space, everything was okay. Oh wait, today I visited my friends, everything was okay. Today I spent time in white space, everything was okay. Yep. Day, uh... Day, day, question mark, question mark, sounded really exciting. What does it do? Start the screen. Maybe we're lucky we'll get like that desktop screensaver where it's like a maze. Or maybe like those little tunnel-y tubes that just kind of reform themselves. You stare at the screen. What'd you like to do? Log off. The heat from the laptop warmed your lap. It felt nice. That's not good for it. By the way. Something fell nearby. What's the fish of nearby? Look, I can run. Ooh, a knife. You got a shiny knife. RPG battle? No. The hand just sent me back. You can't stop me, hands of fate. A white door casts a faint shadow. What would you like to do? Open the door. Don't open it, Denji. Oh god, I'm in cat space. Yeah, I see anime over there. Hi, Amori. We were hoping that you'd come by soon. You have stars for eyes. Wanna play cards with us? We're just about to start another game. Oh. Whoops. Never mind. Oh man, what the heck, Opry? 
You messed up all the cards. I was winning too. Hero? The name is just Hero. <laughs> hey there, Kel. There's no need to get angry. It's just a game after all. Don't give me that, Hero. You only say that because you were losing. I don't have time for children's card games. I gotta check out this anime. A fluffy pillow shaped like the head of a girl. Anime. A neatly wrapped present for me. Blender. A photo of someone familiar. Who is this? A tentacle's poking out of the ground. Makes sense. You got stuffed toy. Nice. I smashed a watermelon and got a stuffed toy. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on the railroad tracks. Catch a pole. Snake. S waiting for something to happen. A single bean on a plate. Why is Kill always so mean to me? You know, the other day that good for nothing stole my stuffed toy and hid it somewhere in this room. Was it in the watermelon? Why would he do something like that? He's so immature. I mean, what did I ever do to him? We'll find out later, or maybe in an hour. Maybe two? Maybe three? Oh, I know. Can you find my stuffed toy for me, Omori? Pretty please? I found it. I is that... Could it be? Ye. Yeah. Ombre snatched a stuffed toy from you. Hey, Kel. Look, it's my stuffed toy. What the heck? Where did you get that? Amori found it. Lucky for me, I've got some real friends. Serves you right, Kel. You should know better than to pick on others. But Aubrey started it. She was the one who was making fun of me for the mole on my... On your... What? Hmm... Aubrey... Fine. Hey, Mori. I'm glad that's all settled. Those two always seem to be bumping heads. Mari and Basil advise for picnic at the play playground. Do you want to go see him? Do we have anything else to do? All right, everyone. Let's go see Mari and Basil. Oh boy, we have a party. But not the type I like. Do you want to play cards with your friends? Sure. Make your move from your pathetic deck. That was fun. Let's go. Going out, Amori? Here's your allowance for today. Got 50 clams. Why do we live in a tree? Well, I suppose we have to set route somewhere. Oh yeah, fresh air at last. Gotta love that nature. Well, let's go. Hey, wait a sec. Help me, guys, I'm stuck. Only if you say please. Okay, I'll stop messing around and get me out of here. Okay, okay, fine. Took you long enough. Well, sorry, princess. Excuse me. So which way we going, guys? South? We're gonna go east. Okay, look, we have a whole inventory here. Everyone else is like a blue shade, like a blue ink, and I'm like black ink. That looks, like, really sad. Mmm, shiny new knife. Stuff toys your weapon. Hey, it's, uh, eggplant. Mr. Plant Egg. 
rubber ball. Charm is Hector. Can talk, but is very shy. He's a good friend. So we pet rock. Spatula. Good for flipping burgers. You like a cook? Well, let's see the stat breakdown. Looks like we're balanced. With some of the highest stats, period, overall. Kale's got pretty high stats in general. Obviously, seems to have the highest HP, which is the lowest mana equivalent? Heart, 35. Juice, 10. Attack, 10. Defense. Okay, let's look over you. Interesting. So you're the bruiser of the group. Huh. What's our stat line? About what I thought. It looks like we can just about do anything. So our skills are sad poem. Because it's the 90s. Guard. Pep talk. So stats effect sad and happy. We can do both on, a, on an enemy maybe and you know, make him very like annoyed. Well, we have an actual annoy skill. Never mind. Annoy makes a friend or a foe angry. Cook heals a friend for help. 75% of their heart. Can be used outside of battle. So you're the healer. Okay. I see. You're afraid of heights. Let's not get in the space ladder. Now what is to the west? You're afraid of spiders. Man, we just find things we're afraid of out in the world, don't we? And one of these paths is just gonna be responsibility. You just get to the end, it's like... Responsibility is like, uh oh, we turn him back. Hmm. You should exchange tempo here. What are you? You wanna build sand castles with your friends? Sure. Nice, we did it. You're afraid of drowning. Yeah, so every path is something we're afraid of. Heights, drowning, and spiders. Curious place. Let's go, everybody. Mari, Basil. Not sure if your name is Mari or Mary. Oh, hello, Aubrey. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing today? Kill's being mean to me again. Oh no. Not again. How could he? Psst. I'm not being mean. Aubrey's just being all whiny. Well, Kill, you've just made a very convincing point. No, I don't know who to believe. Believe me. No, believe me. Settle down, you two. Why does it always have to be like this? Chin up, hero. Look at you being all responsible. I really like that about you, hee <laughs> hee. Come on, Mari. Not now. Oh, hero, you know I'm just teasing. You're so cute when you get all flustered. Whoa. Slow down, guys. It's a picnic, not a... Not your dead guy's date. At least I don't think it is. We're waiting for you guys. Basil and I were going for this photo album. Do you want to join us? Of course. After all, we're the ones in the pictures, aren't we? Basil, Basil, get a load of this! Oh, 
Oh, your name should be pronounced Basil, right? Because I remember, I remember that from uh, the Disney movie, The Mouse, that was like Sherlock Holmes. Wasn't his name like Basil? It's such a quirky world, you never know. Like, you don't know if something's literal or not. There, there's, there's a giant monster playing like jump rope over there. I don't know. Does it follow our naming conventions or is it a person named after a plant? Who knows? So, I'll just go with that. Come on, Basil, take a picture of me. Sorry, Kel. I only take photos of people when they least expect it. Then again, you have plants in your hair. Hmm. You like to take photos of people acting naturally when they're not in front of the camera, right, Basil? Yeah. There's something special about everyone living their own lives. Those are the moments I want to capture. So, like, we just have to pretend you're not there? Haha. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can put it that way. Sure, I can do that. Hmm. My color and Basil's are a little different than everybody's. Do you want to show us your full album now, Basil? Ah, uh, okay. But it's nothing amazing. Oh, Basil, stop doubting yourself. I'm sure they'll be great. You're right, Aubrey. Sorry. I'll try to believe in myself more. Here. This way we can all see. Read is shift. Mari is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Amori and Kale are holding Mari's example. So pretty. Amori and Kale gave up and ran off, but Aubrey and I got the hang of it really fast. Hero's still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting to it. You have to admire his persistence. Everyone's eating watermelons. So juicy. Aubrey has some seeds on her face. Maybe someone should tell her. Kel drinking a bottle of milk, his favorite. I shouldn't get too close, he might get my camera wet. Mari had Hiro take a picture of us. Everyone thinks a flower crown really suits me. Oh, okay, you can look at him closer. Hiro leaning in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. Look at these a little closer. It's like a milk commercial right there. Well, everyone has more normalized colors when it's not like the overworld. We're having a picnic today. Mari wanted to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese. After eating, everyone fell asleep except Hiro and Mari. I'm getting kind of sleepy myself. Kelsey took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. All of her feet in a circle. Can you guess whose feet are whose? Like the only one that like wears socks. These photos are all so charming, Basil. You really know how to capture the moment. Thanks. I didn't take all of them, though. Mari likes to steal my camera sometimes. Only sometimes. Hey, I have an idea. Did you all want to come and hang out at my house? I just finished playing some little sprouts and wanted to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. Yeah, sure, that sounds fun. Let's go. It's south of the playground, right? Yep, that's the way. Hmm. I think I'll set this one out. You all go on and enjoy yourselves. But if you're feeling weary, you can always stop by one of my picnics. I'll always have some refreshments ready. And you can even save using my picnic basket. Oh boy! Ah, oh, thanks, Mari. You're always doing so much for us. Bye, Mari. We'll see you again soon. Run along and have fun now. 
You know where to find me. Oh yeah, some nutritious candy. Did you like to eat some? Yes. You and your friends feel like new. So, Basil is not part of our party. Officially. Mario's picnic basket we'd like to save, yes. So we only got three files. Hmm. Look at that. Look at that amplified time. So that's probably going to do the screen refresh rate bug. I saw some people talking about it in the uh, Steam forums, but I've known about it for a while because I play so many RPG Maker games. Is that it's just a quirk. I think you can get around it without lowering your refresh rate of the monitor, but that's like on the programmer's end. Supposedly, anyway. No bow zone. Violators will be prosecuted. Hey. I'm gonna swing to the moon. Good for you. Barely talks so fast when she's excited. It's really hard to keep up. Hey, Mori, guess what? I got some plans today. Big plans. Just stay put for a while. You'll see what I mean soon enough. Okay, I'm staying put. Now. Hey, Mori, guess what? Got some plans today. Big plans. Just stay put for a while. See what's up. Hey, wait just one second. Where do y'all think you're going? You can't leave without joining us for a game of hide and seek. Stay and play with us. The more the merrier. You want to play hide and seek again? But... You know how this turned out last time? Yeah. Sorry, Barely. I think we're gonna have to pass. Yeah, we're a little barely tired. We're going to Basil's house now. So, we'll catch up with you later. Not so fast. You guys trying to avoid me again? Yes. What's up with you two? Is it my face? That rough and tough exterior? At least I'm not as bad as boss. It's a good thing I banned from the playground after what happened last time. I wonder what that moron is up to now, being a boss. Eh. Good riddance. So, you want to play hide and seek, Basil? I can go out of her way. There's no rush to get to my house after all. I think I'll leave it up to Amori. What do you want to do? Amori, Amori, my best friend. Come on, you know how to play hide and seek, don't you? Y yes. <laughs> That's what I thought. What's stopping you then? Come on, let's play. I'll round everyone up. I just want to go on, like, my adventures. All right, maggots, here's the rules. We're going to be entertaining ourselves with a little game of hide-and-seek. Get in my hands, I got some straws, see. Everyone here is going to pick a straw. One of the shorter straws is going to be it. We want to find everyone else. Sounds easy enough, right? Why is there a species of candy? We all got our straws. Good. Now let's see who's gonna be it. Well, well, well. Looks like the one the shortest straw is, is it me? Yes. Oh wait, Amori is it? But Amori doesn't like to be alone. Are you gonna be okay, Amori? I can take your place if you want. Don't mind, really. Hey, I hear you plotting over there. The straws make the rules, not me. Come on, don't be babies, it ain't so bad. Amori will be fine. When you ready to play, walk up to the terror ball pole and close your eyes. And no peeking or else. Don't worry, Amori. I know you'll be okay. Five, quads, triple, double, single, go! You're it. Well, you found me. I can help you find everyone. Just don't tell barely about this, got it? <laughs> You're doing that trick, aren't you? Hey, 
Oh, you found me. Darn. Hehe. <laughs> Let's go find everyone else to get Robomori. Did you guys let yourself get caught on purpose? You're not even hiding. Roar! Huh, where am I? So, I was dreaming that was on private beach of servants, fanning over me with palm tree leaves on every side. When suddenly, wham, and now here I am. I must have fallen asleep while hiding. Guess that's game over for me. Hey, you people playing? Oh, hey, hey guys. <laughs> you know, I found a really good hiding spot, but <laughs> Sean and Ren invited me to join them in their uh, exercise routine. It's fun. And good for you. You guys should really try this. It's a uh, really a uh, workout. Oh man, I, I, I'm so tired. Wow. You really don't know how to say no to anyone, do you, hero? Come on, hero. We gotta help a more find everyone else. Alright, alright. I'm coming. Bye, Sean. Bye, Ren. This was fun. Yeah, let's do this again sometime. See you later, hero. Banana. Eternal or banana? Hey. You're kind of actually kind of scary. Oh. So it's just blue mailbox. Darn, you found me. Guess that means I lose. You know what Happy would say right now? She's saying like, bang, she always tried her best at everything. Tell us when people tell you how awesome you are. Next time, I guess. Yeah, you two aren't hiding very well. Get back out. Boy, it's me, Happy. You found me, so that means I gotta do something else now. Okay, I'm gonna count the alphabet backwards. Z, Y, X, W, V, U, O, M, um, O. Hi. Turns out, there's not many places to hide here for a guy my size. But this was still fun. As long as Barely is happy, I'm happy. Nose goes. Shh, you're allowed to hear us. Nose goes, Bun goes. Oh yeah, your name is Bun. I'll be quiet, Nose, we're hiding, remember? Bun. Aha! We found you, Bun and Nose. Nose, they found us. Nose goes. Oh, you know I can't stay bad, you. Let's go play patty cake. Are you people hiding or are you just chilling? Oh, I see. Hi, Mori. See, everyone just has to stay bit to play hide and seek. If you have time, I can lend you a hand. Big Sister's always here for you. Huh. So, you like some help? Now we got this. You need to find Barely. Whisper, whisper. Probably shouldn't disturb this. There's a straw on the ground. Pull it out? No, nah, just put some ants down there. Wah! Took you guys long enough. Fellas got suffocating in there. Looks like my hiding spot. Pretty good, eh? Looks like you pretty much found everyone else, too. Unexpected. But I like it. Let's do a final roll call. Tina! Fan! Here's always, buddy. Charlene! Here. Mikal! Oh, what gives? Happy! Here, here! Browse! Ah! Later. Bangs! Here. Bun! Bun is here! Nose. Nose goes. Hero. Present. Kel. Ugh. You really gotta do this every time, barely. Fuck. Hey, that was uncalled for. Aubrey. Here I am. Huh? Where's Basil? That's strange. I thought some go hiding in that tree over there. Basil, where are you? Can you hear us? Basil? 
You come out now. You're the one. Hello, Basil. Mysterious. Hey, there's Basil. Basil, are you okay? Are... are you stuck? Oh no, it's boss. <laughs> boss, I should have known it was you. You good for nothing, scoundrel. Let Basil go. You want like the mid-boss. Yeah, what did Basil ever do to you? Basil's our friend. Don't you dare hurt him. Let go of Basil, boss. He didn't do anything wrong. You stupid heads. You think this is about Basil? Don't play dumb. You know why I'm here. Give me your Pokemon cards. The good ones. Not the knockoffs you print at the computer. How dare you not invite me to hide and seek? I'm the one who showed you all how to play in the first place. You're not even playing it right. How can you call it hide and seek without any body slamming? Oh yeah, hide and body slam. My flower crown. Hey, that's the flower crown we made for Basil. How could you? Let go of me, bully. No. I can't play with everyone, and no one can. This is a boss-only zone now. And you're not invited. What will Amori and friends do? Fight. Skill. I'm gonna tell you a sad poem. I'm trying to determine, like, the advantages to happy and sad. We'll figure it out. Let's make you angry and sad. <laughs> Just attack. I'm read the sample and boss feels sad. Oh my god. Kill noise boss. Boss feels angry. Look, Amori's happy. We're smiling. Goddamn, hero got punched right in the heart. Boss sad. Make you happy. Just attack. Cook. Oh, you ate a cookie. Oh, boy, it takes eight damage. Everyone just attack. You cook. <laughs> you weaklings. You call that an attack. You're losing your juice. What you gonna do about Box crashing his knuckles. Maybe guard? Cracking knuckles means that like a big attack's coming. Yeah, it did. Why does that make you angry? That's right. Ooh. Give in to your anger. Hey, that kind of hurt. Huh. This isn't fun anymore. Woof. Grr. Now you've made me angry. It's 
Time for my special move. Body slam. No, hero. Became toast. Abby became toast. You also became toast. No, I don't want to be toast. Mori did not succumb. Huh? How are you still moving? I'm gonna make you sad. Take my attack. The Mori's party was victorious. Yay. Get 22 clams, nice. This isn't fair. Rematch. I want a rematch. Oh, my legs. Basil, are you hurt? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm just fine. Boss. It must hurt to see people have fun without you. But that doesn't mean you can ruin other people's fun. Huh. I know that. There. Does that feel better? Basil, are you sure it's okay to do that? Boss is bad news. It's a good thing Amori held on during that fun attack, or else we've all been toast. Get it? Toast. It's okay, I trust him. When we were all fighting, he tried really hard to make sure I didn't get hurt. Is that true, boss? Huh. That's a load of baloney. I don't need to hear these lies. This is my spot. No one is welcome here. Cool. Well... He probably won't be a problem as long as he stays like that. I guess that means we can go to Basil's house now. That sounds good to me. We're leaving now, boss. Don't cause any trouble, okay? I won't. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. The day was saved. All right, we're done here. Let's go to Basil's house. Psst. Hey, Psst. you. Yeah, you over there. Mailbox, why are you talking to me? All you do, do is deliver bills. Um, Amori, I think the mailbox is talking to us. Maybe we should go check it out. Yes, yes, hello, valid customer. Welcome to my shop. Please buy something. Kick, 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 kick. Yes, Filmbox, I will trust you. Apple juice. Heels juice. Hmm. It's a present, not what you wanted. Flicks anger on a friend or foe. Wouldn't this be more economical because the one character can cast anger for less juice than this? Um. I'm gonna save my money for now. I'll have you know I don't appreciate window shoppers. Train station, Pinwheel Forest, Basil's house. Train station right here. Wait a minute, we're supposed to go to my house. It's just past the south of the playground. I just finished planting some little sprouts and wanted to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. A transportation station. It doesn't seem to be in service. Just let me have freedom, Basil. Are these what you're talking about? These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. 
I can always count on her to help you stay positive. Um, that's not a normal plant. Whoa! What's that ugly plant creature? Don't you know, Kale? That's a sprout mole. Okay. Sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures, but become dangerously vicious when they are lost. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop that. You're stopping over all the flowers. Me hate flower. Now me hate you. Ah, it looks like the Sprout Mole is angry. Like us, Sprout Moles also feel emotions. Since the Sprout Mole is angry, its attack is higher. But on the other hand, it's lower its defense. So what you're saying is now it's the perfect time to strike. Come on, Amori. Let's do this. We could just make it sad. Whatever. Let's just go for it. Ow. Right in my heart. Right in the Kokoro. Amori's party was victorious. Yay. You gained 22 XP. You got three clams. Amori grew to level two. Ah, most of the flowers are unharmed. That's a relief. Hey, Amori. Now that's where we're getting a hang of battling. Here's a journal where you can keep track of any neat foes we come across. Hero gave you the foe facts journal. There, now it's in your pocket. The journal is yours to record with, but we might pitch in sometimes too. Check it out through your pocket in the player menu by pressing X. Okay. A dangerous and hostile ugly plant creature. It says it is smart, but do not believe it. It is not. It smells like dirty laundry. That information was possibly useless to me. A little rough on the edges, but can be a foe or a friend. Hmm, quite a bit of enemies then, huh? These are roses. Can you guess what they remind me of? They remind me of Hero. Did you guess correctly? Roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meanings. Pink roses symbolize admiration. Orange roses symbolize passion. Yellow roses symbolize friendship. And the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all roses because he's versatile and universally loved. Ah! These are a type of flower called the gladius. The gladio what? Gladiolus, also known as the sword flower. As you might guess, it represents strength of character. Someone who is honest with strong moral values. Someone who stands by their convictions. The Gladius reminds you of Aubrey, because she's always true to herself. Oh, I see. So what you're saying is Aubrey's really stubborn. Hey, no I'm not. Ha, <laughs> ha. Okay, let's move on. Another one. Beat it up! Oh no, not again. Please, Mr. Sproutmole, stop twirling! You're destroying all the flowers! Oh, I see. This Sproutmole is happy. In that case, it has a higher chance to hit our weak spots and do more damage. This also means it has a higher chance of missing. Just attack, I mean. These things aren't too hard. Oh no! Oh no, it's hitting all of us! <laughs> Yay. Hmm. We seem to be running across a lot of foes with emotion. She didn't know emotions could determine how strong or weak an attack is. A happy beats angry. Angry beats sad. And sad beats happy. Interesting. Here, I even drew up a guide on how they work. I'm no artist, but I think you'll get the point. I'll put it in your pocket so you can check it out later. Got an emotion chart. Sure, I might as well look at it now. So neutral is neutral. But happy is strong against angry. 
and angry is strong against sad. Okay. What were these flowers called? They're all cool and spiky. Actually, Kel, this is a cactus. It's more of a plant than a flower. And it's funny that you ask because it reminds me of you. Ha, you're a cactus. Is it because he's a prick? Hey! Well... That too, but mostly because cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care and can survive even in seemingly impossible conditions. Congratulations, you're a cockroach. I guess what I'm saying is that even you could take care of a cactus, Kel. Well, neat. Cacti are awesome. Ah, these are white tulips. Plain, simple, and bulbous, just like a mori. I don't know. I just think it's cute. Get out of here, sad sprout mole. It's all good, Basil. Basil, we got the hang of this by now. Hmm, this problem only seems a bit sad. See how it's curled up in the fetal position? That means it won't do as much damage as normal. But also take less damage to heart and we'll lose juice instead. How sad. Let's put it out of its misery. Nice. Get angry. Now it's making us angry. Yay. Oh look, here there's how to massage people now. That'll be handy when my back is aching. It was a friend or foe's emotion. Are we only gonna have like four skills in total in the game? Or is this to keep scrolling down afterwards? Hey. Man, you're pretty good at this. Hi, everyone. You all just came in time for a lovely picnic. Feel free to rest here. Everything is already all set up and Amy brought some fruit. Nice. Some delicious fruits. You and your friends feel like new. Whoa, thanks, Mari. You're the best. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just trying to look out for all of you. Oh, Mari, I wish I could be just more like you. You always seem to have everything under control. That's not true at all. It just seems that way from the outside. Either way, you sure seem to make everything look easy. Yes, I agree. Mari is so effortlessly graceful. Don't you think so, Mari? Sure. Aw, I guess I have to believe a little bit of all of you think so. My house is right down this way. Are we all ready to go? I'm ready when you are. We'll catch you later, Mari. Let me know if you need anything. See you soon. What's this? We have a picnic with our friends. Oh yeah, having a picnic. I'm bored. All right, let's go. Boss? Oh no, a giant one. 
Why create Deku Tree? Make him sad. The old sprout. Annoy. Aubrey. <laughs> That's right, lose that juice. Oh, rolled over. Dull attack. Still pretty angry. No, I'm angry too. Too much damage. It just seems to hit everybody for right now. Hey. Oh man, this fight is pretty tough. Not really. Don't worry, we can do this work together. It looks like I'm gonna have to teach you all a little bit about teamwork. Let's try again, Amori. We'll get him this time. You don't see anything different, Amori? You should see a new bar at the bottom of the screen with a number on the side. This is our collective energy. Power of friendship? By using our energy, we can defeat this foe together. Just attack and you'll see. Well, let's just attack and see what goes down. What was that? Pass the hero. I'm... Look at Hero. Is there stuff going down? I still don't quite understand it. It kind of went by fast. You see the bubbles that popped up when we attacked? That's called a follow-up. After you attack, for a limited time, you can use energy to perform a follow-up move. Just press any directional arrow and see what happens. Annoy. Make you sad. Look at Call Kel? Call Mori. No. Things are happening. Our main character's sad, though. Phew. Man, I accidentally cast the wrong spell on the wrong target. This guy's real tough. We tent us. He didn't notice our energy went up. When we take damage, we also gain energy. I think we have a chance to make a comeback. There we go. I'm looking at you, Amori. What's up? Boy, you're enraged. You need to calm down. That's a little too angry. Nice, we're full of energy. This is the perfect time to use our special attack. Amori, after you attack, press down to release energy. Hope you're all ready. Come on, everyone, let's show this big guy what we're made of. This is it. It's time to tip the scales. Genki Daba! Oh my god, it's animated. Oh my god, it's the power of friendship. Mori's party was victorious. You can 150 XP. 50 clams. Nice, I learned stab. No one else learned anything. Useless.
And there you have it. Heroes Battle Tutorial 101. And I'm sure as we fight more battles, our teamwork will improve over time. Wow, you guys. That was so amazing. Eh, that was nothing. <laughs> I've taken out way bigger guys than that. I should teach you some of my skills one of these days. Basil, I know you're not the type that likes to fight. But it's good to know how to defend yourself, too. You know, I've actually been working on a book all about battles. Maybe we can all stay together next time. I'll give it to more to hold on to for now. You got self-help guide. Thanks. As we get stronger, I'll be updating the follow-up section of the self-help guide. So be sure to check it out every now and then. Amori, you should know. When we gain XP and level up, sometimes we'll also learn skills. Skills are powerful and have a wide range of effects. But each of us can only remember up to four skills at a time. After you learn a new skill, don't forget to equip it from the player menu, okay? Oh, okay, I see how it is. It's slotted. Yeah, yeah, we know. Can we go to Basil's house now? Okay, that's all I had to say. Patience, Kel. Mori's new skill. Always deal a critical hit. Ignores defense when Amori is sad. Interesting. So we should be in sad with Amori? You get benefits for that in the long run, I'm assuming? I guess it makes sense. You live in a shoe. This style's a real shoe in for you. It's got a lot of soul. Say cheese. Yay, cheese. Oh, I came out kind of blurry. Well, that's okay. That gives a character. Hope you don't mind the photo. Of course you don't mind. I want to see it. Oh, sure thing. We all look so cute. How's my hair? I want to see, I want to see. Oh, hey, Amori. Do you want to look at the photo too? Kind of spooky, if anything. Yay. It's too bad that it came out kind of blurry, but you all still look so cute. I should add to my collection. Ooh, another shot for the photo album. Move over, Aubrey. Can't see. Hey, stop pushing. You already had your turn. Get out of my way, Kel. Wait, hold on. There's no need to fight. Me first. No, me. Cut it out. Stop it. You guys are knocking me over. No. Uh. Whoops. Oh my gosh. Basil. I'm so sorry. Are you okay, Basil? You two are in big trouble now. This is where the both of you need to learn how to get along. I'm sorry we didn't mean it, hero. Please don't tell Mari. It's okay, don't worry about it. Accidents happen. Here's your photos. This look like any of them got damaged. Let's put them back in your photo album together. Thank you, hero. Let's go inside my house first. Remember to wipe your feet before you come in. Bunch of pod plants and flowers. Basil loves taking care of things. See, I still don't know. Because you're related with plants. So you could just be literally basil. It's a toss-up to me. Like, you would look like a person who would be named Basil. Basil loves taking care of things. A comfortable looking bed. A bunch of pot plants and flowers. A fireplace. Fire is warm. A bunch of books. We'll see about plant care. 
Basil's photo album. His most precious belonging. Are you ready to put back the photos, Amori? Yay, let's get started. Huh, darn. I don't think I remember the order of all these photos. Don't worry about a thing, Basil. Amori has a really good memory, so I'm sure we'll figure this out in no time. Um... Do I? Well, this will be the most recent one right here. You were on the first page, right? I'm pretty sure. And then you two I was debating. I think you were there. Yes? There, good as new. I'm really sorry for pushing you over, Basil. Even though at least half it was Kel's fault. Yeah, I promise never to fight with Aubrey ever again. Well, she starts it first. Don't worry about it. I only... I know all you only wanted to see my photo album. Thank you for helping me put it back together. I'm still thinking of something up with... With Basil and uh, Omori. Like I said, just because of the color scheme thing is a little curious. Hmm? That's strange. That photo must have been loose. Huh. What is this? Did I take this photo? Something about it seems so familiar. What is it? Show me. No. That can't be. Mari. What? She's dead. Oh no. Your sketchbook. Take a look inside. Uh. She boxed wiping her sorrows away. Not much to do around here, is there? Meow. You boot up your laptop. Open your journal. Nothing here. All the light. Oh god, hands! That bulb hangs from the ceiling, whatever it is. Look into the light bulb? Yes. Oh no. It's dark as my soul. It's pitch black inside. You can't see a thing. Meow, or is there? Are you looking for a way out, meow? Meow. There was always one, but... Meow. Waiting for something to happen. The beloved grandfather of all sprout moles. He said he loves all life in the forest, and all life in the forest comes from him. If he's not being maintained a balance of force, he enjoys sinning. We just killed you. So I can... I can stab? What can I stab? Myself? Um... I don't like this. Look at all of us. These are all of our memories together. They're a little sad now. 
but we should be happy that they happen at all. Let's make some new memories together, okay? Yeah, so that's Basil. So, it looks like we're the main characters? Per se, at least the, the driving points of the plot. What plot there is, I don't know yet. You see a boy sleeping in his room. What's his name? Sonny. I guess we'll just go with the default. The boy's name is Sonny, yes. Is that the real me? Looks kinda like me. So then in the Mori world, the... A dream world? An ordinary houseplant, nothing special about it. The wardrobe. Table lamp. Look, look, we even have color. And we have normal money. Hands, these are all you have. More health, too. Mom's sticky note. Hi, Sonny, this is no for Mommy. I left some food in the fridge for you downstairs. It's steak, your favorite. Love you. No one computer. Hey, Sonny, it's Mommy. It's still in the city setting things up in our new home. Did you finish packing yet? I'm still in the city, rather. The movers are, movers are going to be at our house in a few days, so I left a list of things for you to do before they arrive. Also, sorry. Mommy messed up. Forgot to tell the electric company that we need a few extra days before ready to move, so the lights might cut out sometime tonight. Thanks. Anyway, I know moving to a new place can be a little nerve-wracking right now, but I think a change of scenery will be positive for both of us. I know you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but you might want to say goodbye to your old friends before we leave. Kel's been trying really hard to get a hold of you ever since we put our house up for sale. He's been calling us every week for the past few months. He seems a little lonely. Maybe you should pay him a visit. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Z I hunger. You are hungry. No computer. Bunch of books. Cardboard box. Yeah, remember that trick? That's a sneak I remember. Mom's to-do list. You don't feel like, don't like doing your chores right now. Family photos. Small thick houseplant. We have two old grandfather clocks. They stopped working a long time ago, but Mom likes to keep them around. It's me. Hi, so you need to know from Mommy. You're gonna brush your teeth every day. Love you. Some towels and toiletries. Toilet. Bathtub. Just me. Kinda dark in here. Empty picnic basket. Yeah, I'll save. Yeah, look, look at the difference. Some family photos. Table lamp. Cardboard box. You usually want to go downstairs. Kind of dark. I feel like we're going to hurt ourselves. You can do it. Come on. You don't want to look down. Go for it. You feel dizzy. Maybe you can sleep it off. Come on. Damn. A very comfortable bed. We like to go to sleep. I hunger. Come on, you can do it. Oh, thanks. Thanks, scary red glow. That really lit things up for me. An eerie red glow radiates from the outside. You feel strangely drawn to it. Man, I wonder where I'm moving. 
did the contractor job on these stairs? That's not up to code. And there's evil shadow hands coming out from the abyss. Yeah, we need a new neighborhood. Uh, they're encasing me. I should have never went for a sandwich. Protect me, knife. Um, there's a real hand amongst those hands. Nope. Nope. Only got to hand it to you. You did catch me. Crap, we have the afraid to buff. What's they do? Fight. You can do it. Maybe not. It just shoved me. My attack did nothing. It's shoving me pretty bad. Run. Damn you, hand void. Sunny. Something taunts Sunny. Take a deep breath. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. You steady yourself and remember how to calm down. Calm down. There, my health. Okay, we're alive. Got first aid kit. Oh, this house is bigger than I thought. Don't want to go in there, apparently. Nope. No way. Shoe rack. No way. Get a knife. Pick up the steak knife. Look in the fridge and find cold steak. Take it. You got cold steak. You should probably heat up before you eat it. Don't put steak in the oh whatever. You put the cold steak in the microwave. You got microwave steak. <laughs> oh yes, a lovely well done steak. Would you like to eat some? Mmm. Tastes like overcooked rubber steak. Oof. Your stomach didn't agree with that. Maybe you should put it in the microwave. No way. No way. There's nails stuck between the bricks. No way. Oh yeah, see? Short stairs. Things are looking a little bit weird, but it's fine. Alright. You threw up. Now 
Now are we done? Hey look, someone at the door. What do you need? Oh, it's, uh... Mari! Hey, Sonny, it's Mari. I'm finally back home, but I forgot my keys. Could you open the door for me? Sure. I trust you. Why am I in the void? Why am I in a completely different room? Oh no, it's it's reversing the perspective. Open the door. Don't open the door, Denji. I told you don't open the door. Wait a minute. That's not Mari. What? Or was it? No way. Why should he be possessing me? Yes! Actually, no, I'm alright with this. Well, that was a good night. Very comfortable bed. I'd like to go to sleep. Yes. Oh no. Weird perspective. been living here for as long as you can remember. Now I'm in the void again. For another stab skill anymore. A white door casts a faint shadow. What do you like to do? Nothing. You stare at the door. I'll have my knife. She blocks wiping her sorrows away. Hey! Hangman. Click the keys to fill in the blanks. Incorrect keys will be discarded to the right. In the grass near the stump on a shrouded old bridge. Let's keep open the hangman menu. Something fell nearby. Okay. So it's a collectible thing for the long term. Galloway hands! You found a map. I understand this. I can see the key thing down there. Just to be open the headspace map. Well, they just pretty much just spilled it right away, didn't they? Headspace. Hey, everybody. Amori, thank goodness you're here. Have you seen Basil? I can't find him anywhere. We should go tell Mari you're okay. She's been worried sick. I think she attacked me in, like, the real world as a ghost. I don't know what that means in relation to current events, but, you know, it's a thing. Egg. Well, I can handle this later, I guess. Oh, we can make toast! Nice. This is a little curious, right? Baseball and a baseball bat. Anime.
Going out of my... Here is your allowance for today. Thanks. Hmm. We found a key. I thought these were gonna be like little items, but no, they're literally just keys. Eleven keys left. It makes perfect sense. Hey, are you a ghost? My ghost? Amori, you're okay. I, I don't really know, actually. Don't worry me like that. Where's Basil? He's not with you, Amori? No, I'm afraid not. The last thing I remember was sorting photos of Basil in this house. And next thing I know, I'm waking up in neighbor's room with Aubrey and Kel. At least we found you, Amori. But I hope Basil's okay. Who's going to protect him if we're not there? Don't be such a downer, Aubrey. We'll find Basil for sure. You're absolutely right, Kel. It's a time like these where we gotta stay positive. Huh. Why don't we go back to Basil's house? Then we might find something we missed. That's a spirit hero. And as always, I'll be here if you need me. Hmm. You can't be also everywhere at once. Well, not everywhere, but... The way you kind of transport is a little... Curious compared to the other characters. Then again, nothing has to make sense in this world. Useless. Do you have any good items for me yet? Useless. Only on my clams. Oh no. There you go. Are these wilted or are these just fine? No, they're fine. Those are good. Those are good. Maybe these are fine. You're fine. Alright, let's see if you're home. Basil, we think you might be in a psychological horror game. The evil shadow in the room did not dissuade me from this conclusion. Hell, there doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary. You think Basil just left somewhere without telling us? I don't know. That doesn't sound like him. He's usually so considerate about these things. Guys, I'm really worried. Is there nothing we can do? What if we can't find him? What if he's in danger? Stay calm, Ombre. This is a game. We'll figure it out. Just give us about ten more hours. I'm worried too, but that won't solve anything. Let's go look around the forest. Maybe he wandered off and got lost. Yeah, cheer up, Aubrey. We'll find Basil. You guys are right. Okay, we gotta keep our hopes up. We got high hopes. Let's go look for Basil in the vast forest. See, when we saw the, the key... There was also, like, this little, like, crack in the ground. So it's a little curious, right? The vast pinwheel forest, apparently. Then... Bin. Bark. Basil! Basil, where are you? I know. 
Let my pet rock will know what to do. Hector, be a good boy. Go find Basil. I'm a rock. How you doing? You tried your best, buddy. There's no time to fool around, Kel. Hey, why you... Hector was just trying to help. Let it go, you two. We need to keep ourselves focused. Bird. Squawk. Squawk. Bun. Oh god, buns are attacking me. That bun is sad. And that bun is, I'm not really sure, maybe angry or neutral? Who knows? Make myself sad. Attack these buns. Ow, this one's hurt. You can do better than that. I'll show you. She's pretty angry. Stab it. Horse bunnies hopping around. Oh my god. Let's go to town on. We defeat the bun. Watermelon. I got a dandelion. Got jacks. Uh. What? Just a tire swing. I mean, this is tiring. You know, I have to find a picnic spot. So that I know I got a good place to, like, recharge and, uh, farm away. Buns! No out! My enemies are not that fast. Oh god. I just stabbed it. It's a pretty long ladder, huh? Oh god, we're scared of heights. Eh, it's pretty tall. But not as tall as the one east of the stump. That one goes all the way up to space. You're really afraid of heights, aren't you, Amori? It's okay. You don't have to look up there. Interesting. So we need to get over our fear of heights. Kind of like a Metroidvania to go to some other areas. Big bone. Candy. Yeah, nope, I'm not dealing with that just yet. Need to heal up. Bone. Nourishment. Shelter. Small bone. Are you friendly or? Let me see you this time. Well, whatever. I guess you are.
What's up, B? Hmm. Oh no, guys. I don't think Basil's in this forest. We haven't even searched the whole forest yet. We can't stop now. Cheer up, Aubrey. We'll keep searching until we find him. We don't find Basil soon. Maybe we should meet up with Mari at the playground and figure out what to do from there. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to be here anymore. Ten keys left. It's getting kind of spooky. Hey. Weird. This kind of runs on for a while. Tentacle? Tentacle's poking out of the ground. Look out! Sprouts. I need a picnic somewhere. Train station. Oh god. There must be heels here. What the? Lemonade. I took care of myself a pretty well tempered shash? There's one thing I can't stand it's line cutters. Howdy. I passed by without saying howdy. We'll get up soon. Just give me a bit. Line starts here. Hey, a hot dog. Hot diggity dog. It's me, a hot diggity dog! You know what I hate more than anything else? Bunnies! That's right, bunnies! Just hate them so much. I won't wish the world to destroy all the world's bunnies. You look like you've defeated a few bunnies. Yeah, that's right. You tell me bunnies you've defeated just by looking at you. That's how much I hate bunnies. Say, tell you what, let's make a deal. If you defeat at least five bunnies, come back and report to me. I'll give you something nice. Now go on and destroy those bunnies. Trains aren't really my thing. I'm just here for the music. Spot, isn't the air nice here? I can smell the clean. Popcorn. Manly soul. Hey kids. I'm Gibbs, the stationary musician. Used to be a traveling musician, but I left that life a long time ago. If you'll spare five clams, that would be great help since they're completely stationary. I should have been good if you do it, would do. Thank you for your donation. I'm returning to play you the song of my people. This is this is an Animal Crossing song. Do you heal me? At least. You thought the song was pretty good. Nice. Oh, more melons here. Cherry soda. Chocolate. Banana smoothie. Quick heal! I want that watermelon. You can deny me, bun. What? This is upside down bun. Here. Be sad.
So pretty much Aubrey and Amori are like our main damage dealers. <laughs> Pretty tough bun. Three leaf clover. Oh, I can increase my luck. Sure. Station. What's over here? Oh, it loops in on itself. Ah. Hello, everyone. How's it going? You found Basil yet? Nah. Hey, Mari. Don't look so far, I'm afraid. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. I wish there was a way I could help more. We're all doing our best. We should start looking outside this forest. I know. Why don't we try climbing that really long ladder? The one east of the stump. I'm afraid of heights. We can't do that. Amori is afraid of heights. What if Basil's somewhere up there? We gotta take our chances. I know. But... Amori! You're growing stronger and stronger every day. You can help climbing a ladder, can't you? Come on, little brother. Face your fears! It's natural to be nervous at first, but you should know that we all believe in you. Come on, Amori. It's just one measly little ladder. That leads to the damn space. What's the worst that can happen? We fall off and die. I don't know about this. Do you think you're gonna be okay, Amori? Yes. Okay, if you're okay with it, then I'm okay with it too. But if you get scared, you can always count on me to back you up. Thanks, Amori. You've got some real courage. Woohoo! Let's go, let's go to the ladder east of the stump. We'll see you later, Mari. Bye now, stay safe. Remember, Amori, you're stronger than you think.